Okay, good morning. My name's Mike Keating. I'm an Acting Assistant Commissioner with the Queensland Police Service and uh, thank you for being here today and uh, allowing us to share our message in relation to community safety for New Year. I'd like to wish you all a happy New Year, of course, and uh, hope your dreams come true, shall we say. Uh, tonight's a great night. It's a family night. It's an opportunity for people to go and enjoy time with their families and friends, to go to large uh, places where big crowds gather, and that's, you know, a great part of the year. But it's important that we do that safely and we take account of our own safety and the safety of people around us. So we'll have a large contingent of police uh, deployed across the state tonight. Uh, somewhere between 2,400, 2,700 police will be on duty across the state between 6pm and 6am uh, overnight. So that's a large contingent of police. They're there to assist the community to enjoy the night so everybody can have a uh, hassle-free and enjoyable occasion. So uh, let's hope it all goes well for them. Stationed here in Brisbane? Uh, there's around five or six hundred uh, in the Brisbane area, both on the north side and south side. They'll be attending the South Bank area, the Fortitude Valley area, and the larger community gathering areas across the CBD and the city. So big numbers there, nearly 600 police down at the Gold Coast, and uh, many hundreds at the larger provincial cities and locations around the state. You had 65,000 people at South Bank last year. Mm -hmm. What are you estimating this evening? Uh, the forecast is about 80,000 people for South Bank, about 110 to 130,000 people in and around the CBD, so it's a big night. Many tens of thousands down at the Gold Coast, of course, and, and the North Coast and the other regional cities. So we've got large numbers of police deployed. They're there to help the community enjoy the night. Uh, we ask people to behave responsibly, to act responsibly. If they're having a drink, to drink responsibly. Uh, if you're going out with your friends, look after your friends, look after yourself. If you're driving, please don't drink and drive. Uh, take a designated driver and reward those people tomorrow for helping you tonight. With the poor weather today, are you expecting less people to be out than the 85 or 80,000 predicted? Well, look, that's a decision for everybody to make in their own uh, right. You know, the weather outside today is not that positive, but I notice the forecast is uh, for inclement weather in Brisbane today, but improving tonight. So uh, uh, people shouldn't go out if they're concerned about the weather, but, uh, you know, if the weather's fine, track's good, go and enjoy yourself. That's a message. Firm but fair. Look, we've got a large number of police uh, out and about. Uh, we won't tolerate antisocial behaviour. Uh, you know, people who are out to stop other people enjoying themselves, well, that's not acceptable to us. It's not acceptable to the general community. But if you're out enjoying yourself, enjoying your friend's company, you've got nothing to worry about the extra police. Um, there are restrictions on liquor. There are designated areas where you can't have liquor. If you're in possession of liquor, you do commit an offence in those places, such as South Bank. So uh, you can't take liquor into South Bank or other designated areas. If you are in possession of liquor, it may be seized by the police, it could be tipped out, and you could be issued with a fine. Do you know how many arrests were made on New Year's last year? No, I don't, I'm sorry. Is there anything uh, that you're particularly focusing on this year from incidents that might have happened around New Year's last year? Well, the message at this time of year is to uh, be responsible for your own behaviour and your own circumstances. If you're out with a group of people, be responsible for your friends. Uh, from time to time, we do see people who drink too much and can't look after themselves. So drink responsibly. Mix your uh, drinks, non-alcoholic drink for every alcoholic drink is a good way to do it. Uh, drink plenty of water, have a good meal before you go out or while you're out. But, you know, just generally enjoy your time with your friends but uh, be responsible for where you are and what you're doing. Cab ranks um, can be a source of great frustration. Will there be more police at cab ranks tonight? Well, the police will be deployed across the cities in, in, the, in the areas where the community are. So if they need to be rotated or moved to particular places, that'll happen quite quickly. Um, you know, we do have to be a bit patient later in the night when everybody's trying to get home. Uh, but public transport is free. So if you can access the public transport, that's a really good way to get around the city. If you're needing to wait for a taxi, well, you need to be patient and enjoy the company of those people around you as much as you can. Uh, don't don't jump the queue. You know, everybody lines up and uh, we'll have a great night. If you had to tell people, like if people have started drinking now, how bad would it be to wake up in the watch house tomorrow morning? What could they experience in a watch house to maybe make them not do it? I've never met anybody who enjoyed waking up in the watch house uh, on New Year's Day. Uh, it's not a really nice way to start your new year. Uh, for that matter, you don't want to end up in a hospital waiting room or an emergency centre. So, you know, we can go out and enjoy ourselves. We just need to be sensible uh, about that. And if we're with friends, take care of each other. Um, 
We had three police officers injured at the Gold Coast overnight and um, obviously there's a huge crowd expected here in Brisbane. It's a volatile situation. Uh, what's the message going out to police in terms of their safety this evening? Well, police are well trained. Uh, you know, we, we do a lot of work ensuring that our police know how to handle these situations, how to work with the crowds that are around. It's not a matter of threatening people, it's a matter of working with them, explaining to them what we're doing and why we're doing it. Uh, but police are very conscious of their safety uh, and, you know, if they need to act in a way to preserve their safety, well, we, we endorse that. There's no problems there. And how does the numbers of police out tonight compare to previous years? Is this a big police blitz? Are we seeing more numbers of cops out than we have previously? Well, this would be around the same number of deployments as we'd see every year for these types of major events. Uh, um, I noticed uh, on, in, in a media conference this morning, Victoria, we're talking about a, about a thousand police across Victoria uh, tonight. Well, we've got two and a half thousand people across Queensland deployed to help the community enjoy the night, be safe, and everybody gets home and has a great night, and that'll be a fantastic outcome for all of us. In some parts of the country, they're going with mounted police and sniffer dogs. Are you going to have a, a similar, uh, I suppose, response to that? Our deployments will include uniform police, plain clothes police, specialist police from public safety response team, some of the other specialist areas. There'll be a high presence from the Road Policing Command ensuring uh, our presence is noted and that people who take the risk of driving uh, while they've been drinking, that we can meet those people on the road and we can deal with that situation. We've had a really good success this year with our road safety campaign over the Christmas national campaign period and we really want to continue that through until the 3rd of January. Toll at the moment compared to this time last year? Uh, as of today, the toll is uh, 272, which is eight less to the same stage as last year. It's uh, 19 less on a five year average than where we would see it, so that's a good result. Importantly, compared to last year, we have many less injury traffic crashes than we would have had at the same period last year. So, overall, it's a good result, but there have still been a number of people detected for drink driving, a number of people detected for driving whilst under the influence of drugs. We're seeing thousands of people being intercepted and uh, issued with traffic infringements notices for speeding, seat belts, uh, driving whilst using a mobile phone. So, you know, the message is clear. Take your own responsibility, take a measured approach to what you're doing and, you know, we'll all get home safe. If people caught drunk and disorderly tonight, what sort of fine are they looking at? Well, look, uh, the circumstances will depend with what, what the charge may be, uh, but they'll be... Uh, they may be taken to a place of safety and released from there. They may be charged at the watch house. Just depends on their circumstance. But uh, it's a, it's a penalty to uh, consume liquor in a public place or a place where you're not entitled to consume liquor, and that's a hundred and ten dollar fine. Uh, some people will unfortunately receive the benefit of that fine tonight. But please have discretion. We would encourage them to use discretion in appropriate circumstances. Up to a hundred thousand people coming to the city tonight, possibly. Um, that's a huge number of people. Is this really kind of a, a great training exercise for police ahead of what they could expect come G20 this year? Oh well, look, we can build on the experiences we've had for many years with these types of events in the city. Uh, South Bank has been a you know large gathering point for large crowds for a whole range of events over the last 25 years. Um, and they're all important, one on top of the other. They build our experience, they give us an understanding of the environment. So it's a good lesson for any event in the future in the South Bank area, and that includes G20. And just what sort of shutdowns, are the, is the river and air traffic, is that being affected? Uh, the Harbour Master has put some restrictions in relation to the use of the river. They're available uh, through the Queensland Transport website. There will be road closures in the general CBD area around Brisbane from time to time as people move in and out. Across the state, various areas will have temporary road closures as well. The, the message there is pretty clear. If you can use public transport, do so. At times during the night, various bridges in the city will be closed off to vehicles and will be used as primarily as pedestrian access and movement. So be conscious of temporary road closures. Take instructions from the police and other transport people that you see around in terms of moving around the city. And overall, we just hope everybody enjoys the night and we all start 2014 on a great note. Area that police are most concerned about this year? Oh well, anywhere where there's a large gathering is uh, is always important to us uh, because you know there's families about, there's uh, community members about, so they're important. So South Bank is a big area, Fortitude Valley, any of the drink safe precincts around the state, but so too are uh, any areas where people would gather. Um, and from time to time, we see incidents that occur in private homes where parties spill out and so forth. So. We'll be mindful of what's happening across the city, across the state. We'll be able to respond with our numbers to the circumstances that arise. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Hope you all have a new